Hi guys. Okay, this is part eight and you can see I am sitting down. I've got a drink. I'm going to sit and, and um, talk you through what I'm going to be doing. So we did all of the twisting to build up these uh, trunk systems. So six to um, the 20, 12 to the 24. Um, now that I'm getting taller and you can see um, the length of the wire that I have left, I need to continue to build upward. And if you remember me talking about crepe myrtles, they're really kind of cool trees because the trunks really depend on each other as um, they start to support each other to hold all of those real thin branches at the top and those heavy blooms in the springtime as they start to pop. So what I am going to be doing is intertwining one wire with that is in one bundle, okay, with another one wire in another bundle. And this will start to support all of these tall um, trunks that are coming up and then branches that extend outward. So um, I did one to give you an idea, but working with this amount of wire, I tried to show you and I get really confuddled. Oh, there you go, there's a new word. Trying to show you and explain. So now I'm sitting with the wire here in front of me, hoping that I can explain it to you a little bit better. So this is um, take two, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, you know, I'm trying to show you everything that I'm doing to build this beautiful uh, tree. Uh, but what it takes, um, it, it's really taking me a lot of time and preparation as I'm doing this and then trying to share with you uh, what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that you can see what I am doing here. So um, I think I'm at the right height. I'm looking at this particular branch and this particular branch. Okay, now this is a total of 10. Okay, that's where I finished in um, part seven, if you go back and you want to watch that again. And I took those and split them into five. What I did with the other group was split those up into five. Then I took one wire of that five and I got it to another branch and I took that one wire and intertwined it with another branch. So now I have, um, see if I can bring, this might look crooked a little bit for you, but to, to give you the idea, I have now connected, I have now connected these branches. So I have, let's see, I have this branch and I have this branch connected but look again let's see if I can bring it in a little bit closer I don't know if this is gonna okay so here I have split these this is five this is five and then in the back here I have one five going up here and one five going up there. Well, I took one of the fives, okay, 
and then one of the fives in this group and interacted it with this group. So because I took one from this set, I took one from that set and switched them, okay? <laughs> I know this is hard, but if you practice and in um, this next set, which will probably be part nine, which is gonna be in the future, I'm going to show you basically what I did here in just practice wire. So this is all, this is connected now. I've got all of this to work with, but these two main trunks, this one here, and this one that I have my finger on in the center, it's hard to see, but these, if I do it this way, these three branches, these trunks, one, two, and this middle one here, three, are now connected, and it gives me a little bit more support. All right, so um, again, working with um, wire, you have to um, try to visualize in your mind what it is you want to accomplish uh, so the tree is sturdy enough. Because this tree is a tall tree, many different smaller trunks coming out of the large trunk right out of the ground, these trunks support each other as they grow upward. I hope that made sense. It's, this is an intense tree. This is not any tree that you just say, hey, I'm going to follow Carol and I'm going to make this tree. It's going to um, take time. If you've never done anything like this before, I always say, Practice, practice, practice. You got this. I know you can do it. It takes time, but doing it um, slow, mindset right there, you're totally focused in on what you want to accomplish. Um, I know you can do this too. Okay, so this was part eight. No twisting involved. A lot of talking. I know, boring, but hey, just thought I'd share with you. This is how I am working it. And again, as an artist, there are many of us and we all do our art differently. It is not the wrong way. It is not always the right way. This is just how I do it. So um, if you're getting any benefit out of it, I'm thankful that you're here. And um, hey, have an awesome day. We'll talk soon.